Hello everyone, it's Emily here from Phoenix Gateway and I wanted to do a reading for today as we're only minutes away from the spring autumn equinox. Equinox meaning that it's we're looking at equal parts of night and day uh, and it's all about the perfect balance, the balance within ourselves, the long-awaited you know balance and harmony um, and it's a really nice way to look at, you know, the nest, the need for us to come into that equal flow, okay? And it's all about really the harvest for us here now. Um, it's also what, you know, and spring being the joy, um, the festivities, you know, coming into them, the summer, the warmer months. And those who are in the northern hemisphere, it's really about going within. Um, you know, we're planting the seed for what we can harvest at the next equinox. And it's about going within and doing the inner work. And that's what I feel on that, um, you know, on that level, what this really is about. It's about the work that we're doing on ourselves. It's that the, the conscious uh understanding that you know it's really really important that as we go through and heal aspect of ourselves and we learn the lessons that we need to grow that we then come back to balance and we can continue doing what we're doing and we are for we are forever evolving evolving and expanding on so many levels you know it's about the snake shedding its skin it's that transformative aspect of self um, I do have this deck here I've been using it a bit with my reading so Colette Baron Reed maybe I'll now that it's actually on the top I might just pull I might just do three cards and then see what comes I will be reading from my deck sacred geometry healing card deck these are available at all good stockists worldwide you can purchase them from me as well and i am happy to personally sign them you can go to www.phoenixgateway.com.au the other thing is as of next week i'm going to be away for just over a month i intend to be putting up videos and doing some lives as well i'm going to be in morocco but i'm running a tour to egypt and it is the seed um where is it? here we go the seeds of kemet reconnecting to the primordial waters okay so so excited about this tour if you we will be running the tour again next year it will be a little bit different so do stay tuned for those who um, really wanted to go but this year was not an option we will be looking again next year as well and uh, by the time I come back we will have something up and running and I will you know be able to put it up for those who have an interest so um, and that website to have a look at anyway is www.seedofthesoul.com Radio. So I'm just going to pull a few cards from Colette Baron Reed's deck, the Spiritual Animal Oracle or the Spirit Animal Oracle and see what comes up for this spring equinox as well. We've also had a number of solar flares that have been reported and I do keep following the Schumann to see how it's been affected by that as well because it definitely has been. And there are spikes within the Schumann resonance. It was up to about 30 um, hertz before and it's sitting around about, you know, that when we had that spike. Um, and the other thing I've noticed is that the actual frequency the overall frequency of, of what's being shown on the planet is starting to rise as well. So it usually sits around the 7.83, but you know, it's starting to creep up and sitting more around eight Hertz at the moment, which is really interesting as well, more so. So yeah, we will probably see quite a few spikes. You'll probably be feeling it energetically and it can be making you tired um, and causing other symptoms as well. There's a lot going on, but the reminder is to remain balanced. Keep your balance. 
<clears throat> so let's just pull three. But it's cat spirit, claim your independence. Let it shine. It's now now your time to shine. Okay. It's also about new beginnings. It's a 46, so it's a one. Our cat spirit is about claiming your independence and it's about what you're doing now, building your, um, uh, well, I'm just going to say it, building your sovereignty, the first word that wanted to come out. It's about our foundations. It's about what you are creating for yourself at this moment. It's knowing that, you know, you need to start being more, like we're here to become, we're, more, we're here as, oh, I'm twisting my words, we are sovereign beings, okay? And what we're here to, to show is our independence um, and that we can build, we can create, we can heal, we can and build, we can do whatever it needs, that we can do it on our own. You know, we don't have to be um, given approval and permission for everything. Uh, it's about you coming back to self. It's about you claiming that sovereignty and creating and, and building that foundation for you. It's about you stepping into your power now. This is very much sun energy and it's saying, you know, it's now your time to shine. Uh, and really quite interesting because the peak really is a representative of Virgo that we're about to cross into Libra as well. So, um, and it's, yeah, okay, and it's the same message that's here. Uh, we've got here, Canary Spirit, sing your own song. This is about your independence. This is about your sovereignty. It is about what you want to create for you. It's about you stepping into your power and singing your own song, okay? And at the end, I'm gonna actually take the back top bottom of the deck here. It's know your worth. And this is a huge part of each one of our own healing. It's knowing that we are enough. We are enough and we have all the answers, all the knowledge that we need already within us. When we do that inner work, when we, you know, when we maybe seek out certain teachers or whatever help that we need to assist us on our, uh, on our path, that we can start to see that we are enough. We don't need to be validated for anything as long as you believe in yourself that you are enough okay so putting those aside let's go for my deck of cards and it's the phoenix rising okay absolutely beautiful it's from the ashes the phoenix rises it's that time to to go um it, it's working at a different frequency it's like snake you know the phoenix the snake there that's that representative of um or the ouroboros the snake eating its tail it's about that representative a representation of going to that never next level frequency okay as you rise above and you really you know you just it's like I feel like it's it's like seeing bricks, you know, little pieces of bricks just falling away, falling away, falling away, because you know you're bringing down that wall, you're letting go of of all the the dregs in your life that you no longer need to hold on to, to allow yourself to move forward with ease. And bring yourself to the forefront of what you are here to create. Okay, so I'm going to pull a few cards from my deck. Can I have a few cards, please? And thank you. Let me just pull it. Yep, and the 417, it's all about releasing trauma. Okay, so this is what we have been um, working around to create the balance within our lives to bring us up to this, you know, into the equinox. Um, and to bring us into our independence, to allow ourselves to sing our own song. Have you been ready? Have you gone through the process of allowing yourself to shed and create the change, create and cleanse 
um, yourself energetically of what no longer serves you. You know, we can't stay victims of our circumstance forever. Otherwise we don't grow, we don't move on, we stay stuck. And this is not what we brought, we came here to learn in this lifetime. Our lifetime is here to learn these lessons that have been put in front of us so that we know, that we learn to grow, that we expand ourselves consciously, that we learn um, you know, to allow ourselves to, um, to really be able to go within and to really hone into our intuition and our higher self because, you know, we're here for the awakening aspect of, um, of life. And it's, you know, exciting times, even though very tumultuous times, but exciting times because if you are allowing yourself to go through that healing, that crisis, you know, maybe you've gone through a massive dark night of the soul and you've had to hit rock bottom for you to move forward. Um, you know, you're doing absolutely beautiful, beautifully. And what I love is that we've got the tetrahedron, okay? One of the five platonic solids. This is the element of fire. It is around a solar plexus and it's exactly under peacock, okay? This is all about letting it shine. And as I said, it's very much that sun energy. Uh, and it's, you know, you can't make this up when these cards come out. This is about stepping in your power. It's time to let go of the stresses and anxieties that are holding you back and letting yourself stand forward so that you can shine, your light can shine because for all the darkness, that we have in this world and for the darkness that is a part of our healing journey, that trauma is the light. And when we're ready to heal, the light starts to shine through, okay? It allows us and it's like, you know what? It's your time to shine. It's time to stand in your power now. Too many cards, I'm gonna just put them back. Going to grab one more card and then I'll just do the bottom of the deck and let it let it be. But this is a lovely little reading. I don't want to fly out today. My cards normally fly out, but they're not flying out today. So I'm going to guess I'm good at saying that. Okay. Two. Yeah. All right. Gratitude with everything within our lifetime that we have experienced, whether you see it as good or bad, positive, negative, um, whatever it may be, everything needs gratitude. Every relationship in our personal life, every relationship in our business life, with our children, uh, with our friends, with whatever it is, okay? whether it's with our addictions, because every aspect, every part of our life is there to teach us something, okay? And we learn with, and, and the more gratitude, the acknowledgement that we give, the appreciation that we give, no matter how hard it is, it allows us to grow um, on such a, a grand scale. And what we are doing, as I said before, you know, as we start to expand with our, our frequency, our energy, what we're doing is learning to truly connect in to source, okay? We're, we're connecting in, we're listening to our higher self. Every one of our cells within our body holds all the information pretty much since, you know, the start of time. Everything is consciousness. Everything is energy uh, and nothing is created nor destroyed. So everything we need, we can find within ourselves, okay? And when we're ready, when we've done the work and when we allow ourselves to shift in that frequency, we can connect into source and we can get the answers. You, you will be amazed to what you start to channel and what comes through for you. Really, really beautiful. The bottom of the deck is the inner child. It's the acknowledge the inner child. 
on two levels. This is here to heal the aspects of our inner child that have created a lot of pain and people have carried through within their lifetime. It's not going to be for everyone. But the other thing is, is that it's really important that we include that inner child play, that, that um, sense of freedom and um, no responsibility. And it's that ability to just play and laugh and be joyful and, you know, do whatever it may take to feel that aspect you know, sometimes we take life way too seriously and we really need to connect back into our inner child as well. So really, pre really beautiful reading. Um, I'm going to say happy equinox to wherever you are, northern, southern hemisphere. Enjoy the energy of the now um, and whatever it is that you're here to sit, you know, to plant whatever it is that you've released and, and you are now, um, you know, picking the fruits of your labor and the hard work you do, whatever, whichever way it may be, have the most beautiful, beautiful day, night. Uh, and I'm sending so much love and I will speak to you next week. Maybe I'll do another reading before I leave for overseas. But if not, I will probably speak to you from Morocco. Okay, big love. Bye for now.